Hi guys, Ian at Paint Tech. Um, welcome, as you can tell, we're down at the Academy. We've obviously been having a chat with some of you guys. Uh, I remember having a conversation with Trevor. Uh, one of the questions that came up was, how long does it take you to get your shit right? <laughs> a lot longer than you anticipate. Uh, let's just rewind. Let's, let's think about what were you like when you first started, whether you were an apprentice or whether you just went out on this on your own. Uh, I remember what I was like. I was absolutely awful. Um, luckily for you, I didn't actually take any videos early days of my sprain because it was horrendous. There was many a time when I'd pick up a machine. Uh, I remember one time when we were doing a big job, I picked it up and I threw it in the skip. I just had enough and we just crashed out the roller. We carried on. And the reason being is we were just kind of having a go. We didn't have what I refer to as systems. Uh, and we've implemented systems all the way across the board. You know, not, not just like on-site systems, as we say. We got to a stage where we'd made a lot, a lot of mistakes. I mean, untold amounts of mistakes. Every time I've got someone here and we're doing some training, doesn't matter what it is, let's say the intensive, Spraying the door to get rounds, you know, confidence drops, then mood drops. Uh, it's like, look, guys, come on. You've made one mistake. Now, at three zeros, you might be somewhere near the kind of mistake level that we've done. You know, we've made a lot of mistakes. We still make mistakes, you know, we, but the difference is we now understand that every mistake we make, we can learn from. But that, that takes a while to actually have that, that confidence to understand that when shit goes sideways, you've just got to figure out the best way to get around. Systems, you know, I remember speaking to Trev and I said, how many jobs did it take for you to get it right? He said, probably about four. I think it's probably more than that. I think he was just being a, you know, very nice. Guys, it takes more than that. It takes a lot more than that. You, you're not going to get it right straight away. But one thing I do know is uh, the amount of time that you save when you pull the trigger compared to using a brush and roll, it really doesn't matter. It's always going to win over, always. So if we talk about systems, one of the things that I do when we, we're training is I ask the guys, and it's always on terminology. I'll say to them, you know, how, you know what, what would you paint first as a decorator? What would you paint first? Would you paint the walls, the ceiling, the woodwork? And inevitably, most of you guys, like we would, we, we'd say we always start with the lids. So we'd start with the lids, we'd roll the lids, come down onto the walls and finish with all the woodwork. So when you flip that on its head and use terminology like, okay, what would you spray first? Everybody thinks there's a, there's a set system. Uh, there was, when we first started, I'll tell you what we did. And we still do. On certain jobs, we still do this. Um, we would spray all the woodwork, okay? We'd spray it to a finish, generating, as you can see here, all the spray. Obviously, this is Cornforth White from one of the courses we've done, so we've got that. Then what we'd do is we'd set a masking gun and we'd spend, I don't know, a long time, which is fine, okay? Masking isn't hard work. Put in the AirPods, put on a podcast, audio book, whatever it is, get yourself in the zone and just go around and mask everything. Once it's masked and you use a decent tape, I mean, back in the day we were using Taser, now we have a tendency to use Q1. Is it because it's better? No, not really. Taser's still, in my opinion, a better tape. It's just a fact as a business owner, I've also realized that it's about margins and it's about making profit. Well, we're able to get really good results now with a, with a, a product that might not be as good, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper. We still use both. We have probably four, five different brands that we use to be fair it's no different than paint mask everything then we'd spray the walls then what we would do is we'd go around and we would mask up to the ceiling line and then obviously use drop down plastic if you think you're good you could do it in 550 mil depends depends on the color of the wall depends how good you are spraying depends on the pressure of the machine Depends on your tip combination. Depends on loads of different things. Depends on the paint. If you thinned it, if so, how much? I could just go on and on and on and on. So what we do is we would drop down the plastic, spray the lids, uh, and that was everything done. That was everything sprayed, and it was great. 
until we started to unwrap and then we'd get a little bit of pull and maybe a little bit more pull. You know, all these bits stack up and, and, and what happens is you get on a high and then you hit a low. Uh, and you end up kind of going round and doing little bits on your knees with a brush. It's not easy getting all this together. It's a combination. It's a system. The system is, starts with the paint, choosing the right paint. Then making sure that the viscosity is right, making sure that you, you mix it right. Then you go to the machine part of the system. Which machine? It does matter. A budget machine will give you a budget finish. A professional machine will give you a professional finish. That's business. Then what tip? What pressure? What filter? What combo? You know, do we use an extension? Do we use a clean shot? You know, all these bits stack up. You know, Overspray is only generated by two things. One, I'm too far away, or two, too much pressure. That's why 90% of you guys are getting loads of overspray. All right, it's just that little tweak. So those bits add up. Systems are probably, for me, the most important part of the business because if I build a system, and like we've, we've spent time with Trevor, Trevor now has a system, okay? And what he does is, because, and even writes it down, we've taught him to write down that system. Step one, two, three, four. Because then he can look at it and he can change it. And if something's not working, he can see where it's not working and he can make a change. And, and I'm going to give you the ultimate tip of all time. Okay. The easiest way to make money is to not do something. All right. It's not cutting corners. It's not being a cowboy. It's quite simply, if you get the result and you don't have to do something, let's say, I don't know, in this scenario, you don't have to sand as much as what you would assume. You don't have to mask as far as you think, okay? And you definitely don't need to hoover all day, every day, okay? Those bits cost time. Those bits of time are eaten into your profits. That's the easiest way to make money, is just find very clever systems that you get it right in the most efficient manner. Efficiency is the ability to remove a process without the detriment to the end result. All right, that's what we teach. That's our whole ethos here. Trevor has got it. He's nailed it. He's cocked it up again and again and again, but he's wrote it down and he started to see where things are working and where they're not. And what he's done is change it. So now he's got a system that is rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. That way, He's making money. And what he finds is every rinse and repeat just gets, I don't know, five minutes quicker, ten minutes quicker, one hour quicker, one day a month quicker. All that shit adds up. And it adds up to one thing. Why you're in business. Why we're in business is a way to do the job to the highest degree we can for the best customers to get the repeat work and make the biggest, well, the, the most amount of money out of that job we can. That's it. That's, that's why we're here. So if we can help you get there, like we have done with Trevor, reach out to us, all right? Just those few little nuggets we've thrown at you are just a tiny little insight of what we can actually go through. People say, oh, can you learn a lot in two days? Uh, yeah, because if we didn't, people won't be coming back in the volumes that they do. Trevor's done pretty much every course, and he keeps saying that every course I do just adds more value to my business. That value increases, again, one simple thing, profit. That's it why he does it he's making more money by implementing all the, these clever systems that we teach over the what, period of a couple of days so guys if you want to know more reach out to us ask us some questions let's see what we can do with you have a cracking day cheers